The liberal CEO of a California-based clothing company has publicly stated that her company is working towards leading a resistance against President Trump. The anti-Republican company is led by CEO Rose Marcario, who attacked President Trump after he explained his plans to reverse former President Obama's campaign of seizing millions of acres of land from states and dubbing them national monuments. In a HuffPost article back in May, Marcario was quoted saying, we have to fight like hell to keep every inch of public land. I don't have a lot of faith in politics and politicians right now. Marcario is taking it as far as threatening to sue the Trump administration because of their scale-back efforts of Obama's land seizure. What Marcario is actually fighting for is the ability to tell the inhabitants of these western states that they will never have a say in what goes on with their own land. A poll taken amongst residents of Utah showed that 60% were against Obama's land grab. Only a mere 33% supported it. Marcario also stated that Patagonia would utilize profits to support pro-environmental candidates in states all over the West. This isn't the first time that the liberal company has supported and funded political matters. In 2016 the company spent more than $1 million for a get-out-the-vote campaign aimed to take and down Donald Trump. Patagonia has a dark history of being tied to human trafficking and child labor within their supply chain. Not really a company I would trust. The Patagonia company hasn't only displayed their liberal ideologies through their environmentalism efforts, but it has also been reported that the company donated $60,000 to Planned Parenthood, an infamous abortion mill. The breakdown is as follows. Around $30,000 was donated by Patagonia to Planned Parenthood in 2012, then in 2013 the company donated another $25,000 to the baby killing clinic, and another $12,000 donation came in 2014. Executive director of Watchdog, Lance Ray, explained that Patagonia is a huge supporter of the liberal agenda and will go to any means to try to take down President Trump. Ray stated, Patagonia's Rose Marcario is the perfect example of why conservatives are sick and tired of CEOs using their position to push a political agenda. Not only is she leading a lawsuit against the Trump administration, but her company provides financial support for the liberal agenda far beyond environmental activism. I couldn't agree with Ray Moore, and it's about time that CEOs shut their mouths and run their businesses rather than putting their noses into politics. When over half of the United States population voted for this man, Marcario's company stands to lose a ton of business. She is essentially shooting herself in the foot. Ray went on to say, our research has found Patagonia uses its charitable giving arm to funnel tens of thousands of dollars to Planned Parenthood. This means a portion of every customer dollar helps fund a gruesome business that performs over 300,000 abortions every year. It's time that we come together as Americans to take down companies like Patagonia and prove to them that we will not stand for their sick and twisted liberal agenda.